Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fame UD here, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a dual com with I Drop Shot. That's me. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> and uh, we still haven't decided what we were gonna talk about, so I just said, "Fuck it, let's wing it." Oh god. Yeah, we're scared. So uh, I think I go 69 and 13 this game with two AC 130s and one Osprey and a, a couple of Reapers. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> wow, that, that <laughs> didn't take as long as I thought it would. <laughs> Joe's the YouTuber, I'm not. I don't really know what, what I should really do with this. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber, I only have like, what, 10 viewers out there? Hey guys, hi that, <laughs> hi that small majority. That one female. I don't even think I have a female <laughs> viewer. If I have a female viewer, please comment. Please please let me know that you're watching my videos. And uh, I think you just gotta tell them to like, favor, and subscribe. Every, every YouTuber, every big guy, they just say that. Yeah, they also add 13 million tags in their video, which I don't do. I don't have the time to sit there and tag everything. No, no, I will. Alright, are, are big YouTubers... Alright, here's my question. Are big YouTubers assholes? No. Why would they be assholes? Because they put up... You know, they, they have 20 or they have like 100... More than 100,000 views on a video. And they still put a like, favorite, and subscribe on there. They annotate it all. They ask, like, they beg, come on, like my videos, favorite them. And they already have 200, over 200,000 views. Oh, I shoot views. the barrel there and I get a double kill, by the way, guys. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and you, you have, what, 20 viewers? And you you don't say anything. You have 20 viewers and you're like, all right, guys, I'll, uh, I'll post a video sometime soon. Thanks. Well, I, yeah, I normally ask for like favorite and subscribe and uh, tell your friends about me. Peace. And then I do <laughs> that whole thing. But um, the answer to your question is, oh, I got an AC-130 here somehow. Anyways, the answer to your question is, um, most YouTubers like that they make their living off of YouTube. That's what that's what they do, because YouTube pays big money for people who get. Hundreds and thousands of views. They, they really do. Yeah. I, I have no, no idea how it works. Like Woody's gamer tag. Um, let's see. Uh, Yogg's cast. Yogg's cast. Maybe Machinima. Machinima. Well, Machinima is the big company that pays everybody mm -hmm. normally. Got it. Um, so wait, Machinima pays people to get views on YouTube. Right. Pretty much. So and wait, and now you could how, also get a YouTube sponsorship, and basically you get paid based off how many v views I believe it is. I'm not sure if it's likes, but I do think that likes do help them. So that's why they like to get their... Or, no, the likes don't help. No, li likes... Uh, the likes, more likes you get in The more popular your video yeah, will be. in proportion to your views, it'll show up more often on other channels. And right. Stuff. Or so, on other videos. So basically, they want as many views that they can so that they get more money because that's how they make a living for their family. Like, I know Woody's mm -hmm. Gamertag, that's... He literally supports his family off YouTube. That's... Which, is that's awesome. A, that's unbelievable. You, I, I he had, literally gets to play video games for a <laughs> living, so. Yeah, I had no idea how that works, so that's pretty interesting, but. Yeah, I just killed myself with a Reaper. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I never really understood how that thing worked, how these people, these 25, 30 year olds were, well, when I'm, when, when we're that age, we're going to be off working and doing something, and these guys are just sitting home playing video games. Exactly. I never understood it. Yeah, it's great. Um, so. Now, where do where do the where does Machinima make this money in ads? Uh, probably I would imagine sponsorships, endorsements, All ads, right. ad people who want their product, you know, to show up with gamers. So I would imagine other game companies that want to advertise their new game that's coming out this season, because mm -hmm. a lot of the time Machinima will go to E3 or GamesCon or events like Comic Con, stuff like that, and they will go and record the new game they'll pretty much put out uh like black ops 2 like all that stuff they they pretty much have that recorded and you can watch black ops 2 gameplay on machinima so therefore it's kind of advertising it. their game on machinima it's a win-win people get to see black ops 2 and now people are going to say oh i want that game and machinima is getting more views and getting more popular you okay. know what i mean yeah. now i'm saying <laughs> not mean, not mean. <laughs> Sha, Sha feel? Sha feel? <laughs> Sha definitely feel. What's that from? <laughs> 21 Jump Street. Yes. Sha definitely feel. Anyone, if you haven't seen that movie, go out and watch it. Yeah, it's a good movie. 
probably one of my favorite comedies of all time. Yeah, definitely. That horrible bosses. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we just went completely off topic. All right, no, that's okay. No, I'm, I'm going to make a smooth transition right here. You brought up E3 and GamesCon, and that makes me think of... They always show games coming out in the future, so... I don't know how much time we have left in this, but... Like, five more minutes. All right, perfect. What game are you most excited for this fall? That's, the, a, that's a tough question. Fall, biggest, biggest season for games, what game are you most excited for? Ah, uh, man, I think I would... I'm a very big Call of Duty player, so I think I'd have to go with Black Ops 2. But next to Black Ops 2, I'd definitely have to go with um, Halo 4. Halo 4, alright. Yep. Which I haven't even pre-ordered yet, I still gotta do I, that. Now see, me, I don't I don't really pre-order games. I, well, I've i never done it. I pre-ordered... This asshole EMPs me. <laughs> I can't even use my freaking Osprey till later. <laughs> I, I pre-ordered MW3 and went to the midnight premiere, midnight release. But oh, like, you went to the midnight too? Yeah. Yeah, I went there. The only reason I really did it though, because I, I wanted to experience it. I never did it before, so. Yeah. But. It was terrible. <laughs> was your experience good? Ah. Uh, eh. How I mean, many How many kids were there? Let oh, me ask it you that. Was maybe a hundred. A hundred? Yeah. There were. I went to a no, place where there was maybe like six hundred. <laughs> that no, sucks. There were like three hundred kids, and my friends. I got lucky. Ready? My mm -hmm. friends all went. Like they went right, right after, after school, school. Yeah, so they course. were there like 2:30, first in line. Got hats, I, got the posters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I cut the I cut the first line to oh, get a band an to <laughs> to get a band to stand on the line, and then I just jumped in the circle with all my friends, and immediately, because I'm just a boss, I made friends with the oh bouncers that were standing outside of the door. So when it came down to it, and the people behind me were like, "This you. kid wasn't there. This kid wasn't there." The bouncers were like, "No, what are you talking about? This kid was there the whole time. We've oh been talking my, with him." Oh my god! I was like, "Yeah." You're that kid that I'd be standing there looking. I would just grill you. You wouldn't even know notice me. I'd grill you. Yeah. I don't want to punch you in the face. Yeah. You're getting a copy of the game before me. I would. I would have been I was so the, upset. Uh, I was the third person to get a copy at the midnight oh release. God. I got like a multi kill here. Did you know that if you get hit with a stealth bomber, like your person gets hit by a stealth bomber? It'll slow down your kill streak. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. But apparently it does. <laughs> oh, we're also gonna be recording later tonight, guys. Another dual com. It's like two thirty in the morning right now. Yeah, we're gonna record that. Um, <laughs> it's two thirty in the morning. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be recording uh, the Moab that I surprisingly got just. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, that was random. Um. Yeah, but so Halo Four, Call of Duty Black yeah. Ops Two. What um, What are you most? God, uh, Black Ops 2, I, this is no specific order, I'm just kind of throwing out my opinions on the Black Ops 2, I watched the E3 stuff, I, or watched everything they released, campaign didn't really impress me, I like how they're going a new direction going into the future, it, it could go both ways how they do it, Right. um, I heard zombies, I heard 8 player, I heard huge maps. What? Yeah. 8 player is gonna be sick. I heard 8 player. The, um, uh, I'm a little hesitant. They have to fix the 4 players you lagged out <laughs> after 29 rounds. They they would have to fit. I jumped. Did you see that? I jumped to the right and he was, <laughs> he was behind me. No, no, always. 50-50 like, <laughs> chance in COD. You always look right, he's always left. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. Um, but, uh... I, I heard crazy stuff about zombies, and that's, that's what I play... The odd number games for even number yeah. games I play for multiplayer and campaign. Odd number games I play for zombies. Okay, but wait. Did you hear that they're releasing Nuketown 24/7? I mean, Nuketown only to the for um, people. Nuketown well, 20, yeah. 25, 25. Yeah, I get, I get that. But then the hardened edition, you get a zombies version of the map. No. What the actual fuck? Like that should be in the pre-order. Like that's awesome. Is that for like if I pre-ordered Black Ops, which I did already, then do I get? the zombies or is that only for people with Harden because then I'm gonna have to upgrade to Harden because I want fucking Nuketown 20 whatever that's 2025 that's zombies. such a small map for zombies are you kidding me I would hate that that'd be that. awesome though there's nowhere to run there's no circles still it'd just be oh funny but it's Nuketown alright it's the best map um back to what I was saying that could Black Ops 2 it could go either way I mean I said that about Black Ops I said I didn't get it I said I didn't want to get it and then I end up getting it and I loved it. It had a great multiplayer. Zombies was great. So that one turned out good. Black Ops 2 could go both ways. Uh, I'm gonna end up getting it. Um, Halo 4, super excited about. I was avid Halo player. I was um, not. I never had Halo, and whenever I played at my friends, I did terrible. 
So I was never a big Halo player, but I figure I might as well give it another try. <laughs> and after watching a couple of videos, it just looks like so much fun. Yeah. Halo, played it since the beginning. This game, I'm excited about getting, but it's going to be another trilogy, so there's plenty more for them to do. So my number one, Assassin's Creed 3, it's going to be the final. Ooh. It's going to be the final to Desmond's story. I played, I loved those games, so I'm, that's what I'm excited for. Yeah, I'm not a. We actually pull out a victory. I don't know if anybody was watching. <laughs> we, I don't know if anybody's even paying attention no, at this we, point. No, no one even but cared we about pulled the video. Out, look at the, we yeah, had a great a close video. But um, <laughs> anyways, I'm not excited for assassins. I feel like they they made way too many. But uh, this video is coming to an end. So please like, favorite, and/or subscribe, and tell your friends about me. Peace. Later.